Welcome to Utah Valley University, home of the Wolverines, over 40,000 students, and a campus right in the heart of Orem, Utah. UVA was originally founded in 1941 at the local fairgrounds, but we have come a long way since then, now becoming the biggest university in the state of Utah. A lot has changed and we won't be able to get through everything today, but hopefully within the next few minutes, we hope that we can give you a taste of what it's like to become a student here or what to expect when you're on a campus tour. Now our first stop is our Pope Science Building. Let's go there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Our Pope Science Building houses our Earth Science, Chemistry, and Physics programs, as well as our Folk Halt Pendulum, which takes exactly 37 hours and 11 minutes to knock over all of those pegs, and also proves that the Earth is rotating right as I speak. Also, campus legend dictates that if you see one of the pegs fall, you'll ace your next test. Hmm. Our Pope Science Building also has our planetarium. UVU students have the opportunity to take astronomy classes with professors who regularly use the Hubble telescope. The Clark Building at UVU houses our social science and humanities departments. We also have a 23 to 1 student to professor ratio in our classrooms, which ensures you that you can choose between classes that are big or small. We also have non-auditorium options at every class. On top of that, we have faculty offices, which will allow you to have your questions answered and your concerns addressed by your professors. Hey, Rag, hey, how's it going? What's up, Career? How did your meeting with your astronomy professor go? I gotta stop sleeping in class. Makes I'll sense. See, I'll see you later, man. See you, bro. Yeah. administration building is one of UVU's best and prime examples for in-person student resources. Whether you have questions about financial aid, scholarship, or just finance questions in general, we have many professionals here to help walk you through. The Browning administration building also has the office of our president. President Astrid Tamines is UVU's seventh president and also our first female president. After getting degrees from BYU, MIT, and Harvard, as well as served as an executive for Microsoft in Southeast Asia. Upon taking the office of the president, Astro Tuminas has done a great job with diversity and inclusion, as well as pushing new initiatives for first-generation students and reminding everyone that UVU is a place for you. Student Life and Wellness Center. This is a place where students can come and relax, meet new friends, they can also work out, and we have all sorts of activities here. We also have our student gym, which is free to students that take 10 or more credits. We have the project, a three-story rock climbing wall. We also have three full-size basketball courts, a dance room, everything you can need as a student. We also have bowling alleys down here. We have video games, foosball, pool, all sorts of activities for students. And lastly, we have the Reflection Center, which is a place for student meditation and prayer. The Fulton Library is one of UVU's most valuable student resources. Whether you're looking to check out material, do some studying with some friends, or go check out over a one-of-a-kind stained glass art exhibit, The Roots of Knowledge. Truly, the Fulton Library has it all. It really does. The first two floors function as regular study floors, meaning you can get together with some friends, grab something from Mom Fulton's Cafe, and just have a great hangout at the Fulton Library. The first two floors also offer circulation desks where you can check out any material you want from textbooks, microphones, camera equipment, you name it, they'll probably have it. So, uh, Phil and I are gonna go grab some lunch. Do you want anything? I'm good, thanks. You sure? Yeah. Okay, see you, Brock. <laughs> Bye. The second floor of the Fulton Library has a ton of student resources, including many computers to use, and even the Writing Center, which will help students get professional expertise on their papers. Got a big final paper due? Well, head on in there and let them help you catch the little and not so little mistakes. So it says here, adjective. What, what even is that? They're gonna help you out right over there, fella. They've got you, you got this. The top three floors of the library not only provide some of the quietest study rooms on campus, but also the best views. So whether you're looking to come 
and study up here in these quiet rooms, or you'd like to rent one of the large private rooms, you can do that at the library website. The Liberal Arts Building at UVU is where students will take a majority of their general education courses. We also offer free tutoring in subjects such as math, science, health, and language. And if you're feeling up to the challenge, you can actually become a tutor in one of these subjects and get paid for it. Also in this building, we have our Center for Global and Intercultural Engagement that is split into three offices. First one, Global Office of Engagement, Multicultural Student Services, and our International Student Services. These offices show our dedication to inclusivity and diversity. So whether you're from in-state, out of town, or around the world, there's a place for you at UVU. And not only is there a place for you at UVU, there's a place for UVU students around the world. Make sure to go to our Office for Global Engagement to learn more about our study abroad opportunities. The Woodbury School of Business offers over 20 bachelor's degrees, ranging from accounting, finance, economics, HR, and business management. Our students are high achieving academically, but also when they compete at competitions, such as the Enactus National Competition and the International Association of Registered Financial Consultants National Financial Plan Case Study Competition. You should get an award just for remembering that. Thank you. The Woodbury School of Business also offers the Business Writing Lab, Talent Sourcing Services, and many tutoring opportunities. The Hall of Flag provides a unique aesthetic feature. Each flag here represents a country recognized by the United Nations. Not only does this hallway represent the many nations UVU students come from, but the potential impact UVU students have around the entire world. Another unique aesthetic feature here are the exposed multicolored pipes. Back when UVU was a trade school, the students would color these pipes to know which way they led during construction. Today, we leave these pipes exposed as a testament to our commitment to engage learning. Back then, our students probably didn't know that the process they went through of learning by doing is still represented today on campus. UVU was a great place to catch a show. And for those ready to give the performance of a lifetime, it's an incredible space to star in the show as well. Not only is this building one of the most beautiful buildings in the state, it, look, it serves a great purpose, connecting the community and the university. Home of the Utah Symphony and multiple local productions, this building looks to serve UVU performing arts students and the community at large. With a gorgeous concert hall, stunning theaters, dance halls, and plenty of space for UVU students to practice, edit, rehearse, and perform in, it's no doubt that the Norton Center for the Performing Arts represents some of the best UVU has to offer to both our prospective students and the community at large. The Gunther Technology Building is actually one of our oldest buildings on campus today. Dating back from when we were just a trade school, we still offer many of those programs, ranging from construction management, cabinetry, and even woodworking. As UVU has grown and expanded, so have the programs we offer. So the Gunther Tech is now home to many of the programs from the School of the Arts, which include painting, illustration, 3D design, and ceramic studios, where students are free to make their first masterpiece. Wow, great job, Brock! Imagine going to college and building a 1969 El Camino from the ground up, racing it on the salt flats, and then breaking four land speed records while you do it. Well, guess what? Here at UVU's Sparks Automotive program, our students did just that. They can study tons of stuff like technology management, automotive technology, diesel mechanics, collision repair, street rod, and even power sports. 
As time goes on, a lot of universities will drop their trade or tech programs, but here at UVU, we try to prioritize them and make sure that they have their own place here on our campus. And not only are they preparing for a competitive work field, but they're also having a blast doing it. Welcome to the UVU Losey Center, a building with some classrooms but mostly student resources like the Mentor Program where there is a mentor who can help you get that college experience. We also have our first year advising center where they can help you adjust to university life. We also have our career development center and career lab where they can help you find jobs and in our career lab specifically they will help you with your resume and your cover letter so you can really nail that big interview that you have coming up. You will not believe the things they've done to my resume, Ryan. What big changes did they help you make? Well, first off, looks so much cleaner, right? They did make me change my name, uh, the font, from Comic Sans. Oh, that makes sense. You know, I thought it was the right move. Yeah. Yeah. At the Losi Center, we also have other programs, such as the Women's Success Center, that will help students knock down barriers to be able to graduate on time and navigate the university experience. We also have accessibility services, which will help students with any sort of permanent or temporary mental or physical disability. We also have other programs such as the Honors Program, which we encourage everyone to apply to. They offer honors level courses where you have to keep a 3.4 GPA, but you get so many benefits such as priority registration and scholarships. Just applied to the Honors Program, Ryan. How'd it go? It went okay. Um, I forgot about the Comic Sans thing, and the guy interviewing me uh, did major in graphic design, so. But I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, okay, you'll get them. I got it. The Sorensen Center is full of different student resources to ensure that you have a safe, informative, and even delicious college experience. This building holds the Grand Ballroom, Center Stage, and Reagan Theater, meaning if you want to go see a proficient public speaker, attend a job fair, or dance the night away, this building will show you what the college experience has entailed for you. Well, and it also has Campus Connections, which is where you're going to get your student ID, discounted concert tickets, and even a complimentary UVX pass. Well, also it has the lost and found. Thank you for holding this again, by the way. Upstairs, we're gonna have our student health services. That's where you're gonna be able to make sure you can be physically and mentally well for all the college life you have ahead of you. Not only that, but what would college be like without a bunch of university swag and great things to eat? The Swordson Center has it both. High five to that. So come on down, get yourself a sweet UVU hoodie, but then also sit down and do some delicious food. You college could not get better than this, dude. I'm telling you. You got a little, like... Right here? Yeah, right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll keep some there for later, actually. Oh, it's too good. For many people, a huge part of the college experience is sports. Baseball, basketball, volleyball, wrestling. In terms of athletics, UVU has a lot going on. Whether you're looking to take the stands yourself with the rest of the student body or step onto the court, how could you not imagine yourself here? Another amazing thing, you can get in on all the action for free with your UVU ID. That's it. We are so excited for sports to start up again here at UVU, but for now, we require that you wear a mask anytime you're inside a building. We want to keep our entire community safe. Now, sports aren't back quite yet, but they will be. And we're so excited for you to join in in all the action here at Utah Valley University. And remember, there's a place for you at UVU.